Good morning. Yes, they met for about three hours last night and there is still no decision on what the pay rise will be. The union was given an offer last Friday. They have until around October 11 to make a decision on that offer. In the meantime, the Commissioner of Police has ruled officers cannot take part in Phase 3 of industrial actions. Phase 3 began on Tuesday night with officers told to return to their police stations and only respond to emergency situations. That action lasted less than four hours after the Commissioner invoked a rarely used regulation to put a halt to the dramatic escalation ordering officers back to full duties. Since then, the Premier has accused the union of going rogue and refuses to back down from its pay offer of $1,000. And now other public servants are threatening to follow the police claim. The public sector union says it will tear up the government's latest pay offer, pay offer for its workers if the Premier caves in to police. Unions WA says it doesn't believe there is one group of government workers that are more special than others, and if police get a pay rise greater than originally offered, then so too should other workers. An entry-level constable's wage starts at more than $73,000 a year. An entry-level sergeant earns more than $103,000 a year. WA police officers are the highest paid in the country, but they also want a reduction in hours from 40 hours a week down to 38 hours a week, which is on par with other states. The opposition has also weighed in on this debate as well. Matt, they have said the Premier needs to stick by his election promise of an increase of 1.5%.